Now, a quick note before I glue this in. Um, you can see this pipe isn't cut very straight. It's a little bit higher on this side, but on this side, it's straight. So the straighter side, you wanna put into the T. And uh, that's just um, so that when the gun is fired, the piston can move back smoothly. Um, so the straighter, the straighter side goes into the T. This side, you don't really need to sand it though. It's Nothing's gonna be sealing on it. Just make sure this is cut straight. And so I'm gonna glue this in now. All right, so I glued in the piece of pipe into the T. And uh, quick note on, uh, it's gonna push a lot of glue up around the pipe in there. So what you wanna do is just kinda pick all that crap out so that nothing interferes with the piston. And I also, uh, cut this a little bit better so it's a little flatter because that's going to help when you're operating piston valve. So now I'm going to go ahead and glue the female adapter on. Okay, I finished gluing all these parts together. Now you can see this little bit of crap that's on the inside of the pipe there. Now that's the same thing that's going to happen inside that. So once again you just want to pick it out with your fingernail and it's gonna stain your skin a little bit. I have a little stain right there. But uh, yeah, make sure all the pipe in there is clean. And we're almost done. The last thing we need to glue is the seat. This is called the seat, the one that we polished. The last thing we need to do is glue that into the T and then we'll be done with the valve housing. All right, now I've glued in female adapter and the 1.5 inch piece of pipe. As you can see, it goes almost halfway into the T, which is good. You don't want it to go all the way, like halfway. Just a little bit less is good. And uh, as you can see, it's perfectly centered. And that's good because what happens is you drop the piston in and shake it a little bit. And you can see that piston seals right up on the seat. All right, and uh, one last thing you want to add in your piston valve is a bumper, because when you trigger the valve, this piston hits back with a lot of force, and it's hitting back into PVC. And if you don't have a bumper in there, it's just going to break on the first shot. So what I like to use is a half a tennis ball and what I'm going to do is cut a hole in the middle of it and then take out a little piece of it so it's small enough to fit inside the piston valve. And then uh, it's going to rest on this little fitting here and when this screws in it's going to provide a nice little bumper for the piston to hit against when it's triggered. So uh, without a bumper your piston valve is going to break on probably the first shot depending on how heavy your piston is but don't skimp out on a bumper you have to have a really substantial bumper for your valve to be safe uh, otherwise it's gonna break so I'm gonna go ahead and fix this up and put it in all right I used a hole saw on my drill to cut out a little hole and now I'm gonna cut a little sliver out to make it smaller Got a little PVC cutter. There's the bumper. So now, when you put the bumper in, gonna sit just just like that and it's gonna be a nice soft landing for the piston all right so since this is the only part that I covered in the tutorial I didn't cover the pilot valve um, this is gonna be different for everybody who builds it so what you need to do is leave me a comment 
and figure out, tell, just tell me what you want to use for your pilot valve and I'll help you figure out a whole setup for your pilot. And, uh, but all this here is universal. This will work for anything. Um, I know there's a lot of other piston valve tutorials, but there's only a couple other two inch tutorials and uh, this is the most simple setup. So uh, I hope a lot of people watch it and build this for themselves. It's a lot of fun. And then, uh, so for the chamber, the air chamber is going to go in the bottom part of the T. Um, and what you can do is you can just use an elbow right here. And then, then you have your length of two inch pipe or maybe you want to use bigger pipe. It's all up to you, whatever size you want to use. And, uh, then you just cap the other end and then that'll be your air chamber and your barrel is going to go in here. So this valve, I designed it for golf balls. And this is a one and a half inch port here and it has threads and what do you know, golf ball barrels are a one and a half inch thin wall. So if you want to shoot golf balls, go pick up a one and a half inch thin wall piece of pipe and the longer the better. Same with your chamber. Um, and get a male adapter Put that on your barrel and thread it right into here. Finish up your chamber. Stick on your pilot valve, which I can help you with, and then you can go blow crap up. Alright, so what I did... <laughs> <laughs> what I did was put a one inch sprinkler valve that has been modified. And uh, it has a compressor quick connect on it. So you uh, connect the compressor, open this valve, and then the air is going to come in behind the piston, which is going to be in the back position. And then it's going to push the piston into the barrel, seal it. The air is going to come into the chamber. I'm going to trigger this valve, and the air behind the piston is going to be exhausted. And then the chamber pressure is going to force back the piston and open the barrel. So that's how it works. Alright, I hope this helps you build your piston valve. Uh, one thing I should say, this is not a beginner's project. You should only be building one of these if you have past experience with air guns. It's always fun to start off with like a ball valve air gun. There's, I have a tutorial on a ball valve air gun. And so start with that if you haven't built any air guns before. But if you're experienced, then have a shot at this. and It's a lot of fun. So, uh... Hope you enjoyed watching and subscribe for more and thanks. Bye bye.